today I have a market basket grocery haul for you guys. So for grocery hauls this year, I decided I'm going to go back to the way I did it last year. So as far as the price on the grocery haul this year, for all my grocery hauls, I plan on doing it the way that I did it earlier last year and then continuing that throughout the year. And that is I'm going to go through the haul, give you guys the prices, and then I want you guys to comment down below how much you think it cost. And then I will, in 24 hours, comment back and tell you if you're right or not. Then I'll leave a comment on the top, a pinned comment, saying how much my total actually was. So I'm going to go buy my grocery receipt here and tell you guys how much everything was. Starting with what's on top, the Pillsbury Sugar Cookie Roll. And that was $4.99. These, I know for a fact, the chocolate chip muffin mix, I got four of those. They were four for five, which is extremely expensive because the regular price used to be 99 cents. And then I noticed towards the end of the year last year, they went up to $1.25 each, four for five. But they actually, at one point or another, were on sale for 69 cents a pouch. So I picked up four. That's two days of muffins right there. I have two in my cabinet as it is which means that I have three days of muffin mix. I'm going to hold off on buying my muffin mix until I see the price go down. So then, we will go over to the deli meat because I know for how much they act. It says it right on there. A pound of Lando Lakes cheese is $5.79 a pound. Mine was a little over a pound, so it's five eighty five. dollars And then I got the Tremendous Barrow Ham. Which was a half a pound. They gave me a little over half. I'm not gonna fuss about that. And that's five ninety nine a pound. I'm telling you guys, if you live near Market Basket, don't go shopping at any other store. Go to Market Basket for your deli meats. This deli ham, especially if you're a ham fan, I should say. But anyways, the ham is so good. It's like this sweet type of ham. I won't buy any other type of ham. This is the ham that I stick to. And if they were to get rid of that ham, I don't think I'd do deli sandwiches anymore. Another thing that I knew the price of was the chicken wings. These are actually back down to $8.99 a bag. And these are a huge bag. These are four pounds. So it's eight pounds of chicken wings right there. Like I said in a haul last year, when I bought two bags of them, that'll last me about two months. So being $8.99 a bag, an amazing deal. And that means I'm stocked up until they go back on sale at $8.99 if they do end up going back up in price. These were another one I noticed that were, um, whatchamacallit, they, I mean, everything had a price increase, but these potatoes went up pretty steep too. I think they were $1.25. No, now. these are actually $1.50 now. They are two for three. These used to be a dollar. So that took me by surprise when I saw that price. I know for a fact that these popcorns were $6.99 a box. They are a 10 pack, 100 calories. This is what we, my husband and I are sticking to when we want chips. We go to our small food popcorn. So I bought two of those. They actually are cheaper at, um, Mark, at Walmart. They are $6.49 a box at Walmart, my area at least. So, I should have waited until I did a Walmart order, but I went ahead with that. And bought two of them just because those will be gone in a couple of days. Whenever my husband and I want anything salty, we always go towards this popcorn, the Smart Food Popcorn now, 10 packs, 100, pal 100 calorie packs. So, the same price for the Classic Mix. This is actually for my son. They have all of his favorite chips in here. His favorite are the Doritos. The red and the blue. But he'll eat the other ones as well. 18 bags of those. And that was $6.99 as well. These french fries here. The super, super crispy waffle fries. Grown in Idaho. I don't know the actual brand name. I want to say the brand name is Lamb Weston. But these were $4.29. The Dino Nuggets were $6.49 each. I got two of those. My husband wanted these sausage and egg 
Jimmy Dean biscuits. They are $10.99 for an eight count, which is expensive, but he works a lot, so. These baking cups are so sick and cute. They're built in. I think they're for like muffins, or even if I, my son and I want to make cupcakes together. They're so cute. I just couldn't, there were two different styles I had to pick up that one. And that was $1.99 for a 75 count. That's a little bit there, in my opinion. These razors were 99 cents. I picked them up because we're getting to that time of the year where we're going to be shaving again. <laughs> So, I picked those up. They are the Market Basket brand. They're cheap, but I'm not picking up. The Q-tips were $0.99 cents for 200 They are cotton swabs with plastic sticks. Then I got a blender. I've been wanting to get one for a while, and it just happened to pop out of me. The cute little bunny face just popped right out of me. Went in the wild. This is $3.19. They did have a two pack for five of ninety nine. Through a different brand, but I like White and Wild. They're one of my favorite brands. That and Revolution for makeup, facial tissue, basically Kleenex, Market Basket brand, dollar nineteen, and then my husband's soap, a dollar twenty nine. This was another price hike. This used to be ninety nine cents for a three in one. Now for a body wash, it's a dollar twenty nine. And they did not have the th um, three and one to price to give you as a price range on that. The Coke Zeros were five ninety nine each plus the bottle deposit, which was forty cents per thing. So they were eighty cents altogether for the bottle deposit. We do not recycle; we just toss them away. Sorry, guys, we're not earth healthy, if you want to call it that. We're not economical. Around here, we just do what we do. These sauces, my husband really wanted emeralds. I'm so fun. Like, I love emeralds, don't get me wrong. But literally, all I want is the Rawls four cheese. He even said, go ahead and get the Rawls four cheese. But I felt bad because all I've been getting is the Rawls. So I was like, oh, we'll get yours this week. So this is $4.99 for a bottle. And that's the vodka sauce. Any parents out there that are concerned that this, I'm serving my son vodka sauce should not be concerned because if you know anything about it, the vodka burns out throughout the cooking process or throughout the processing process, whatever it is. There's no, technically no alcohol in there when I go to service my son. Then I got some olive oil, the classic Olivari olive oil, three ninety nine a bottle, because I believe I'm running out of it. And if you know me, you know the fact that every time I make ground beef, I mix in olive oil. Fantini bulky rolls, those were two fifty. Those used to be two for three, then it went to two dollars, and now it's two fifty. So the wheat bread was two fifty as well. The cranberry ocean spray juice was three twenty nine a bottle. We were looking for the bigger size because it's usually like four ninety nine a bottle, but they didn't have it. So it's just the regular cran apple. It's lemonade. I actually didn't realize how cheap this was. This is actually cheaper than what it is at Walmart. So it was two sixty nine at Market Basket per bottle. I got three bottles. If you guys know me and you guys have been watching all hauls, you guys know that I'll be out of this by Tuesday, if I'm lucky. But it's currently two eighty eight at Walmart, so it's actually cheaper at Market Basket. My son's Hawaiian Punch, the Orange Ocean was two fifty nine. I remember back when I used to get those at Walmart. I don't know if they still are, but they used to be a dollar ninety nine for a bottle, two dollars for a bottle, same size, same brand, same flavor. So I have to check in on that and see where it's cheaper. The Heinz ketchup was three forty nine a bottle. This actually. It's either 10 cents or 50 cents back on the the specific brand and there's a, the two other bottles where you can get like i said either 10 cents back or 50 cents back through and i bought a dale so i didn't know that until after i checked out so i was happy, happy about that the extra gum was 349 each the pm cooking spray was 369 the red icing was $2.99. So there's one thing here that is on my list, but it's not currently in this picture or in this haul right here. And that is the Axe body spray that my husband had bought. He, we, he had to go right to work straight from 
grocery shopping so he brought that to work with him and that was i totally forgot about it actually until i saw it in the receipt 6.49 which he doesn't usually buy brand name body sprays so he buys a cologne every couple of months and a clones he buys, he goes to like the cheap little, it's almost like a Chinese dollar store, have you ever heard of those? It's one of those where it's just knockoff colognes and whatnot, and he pays like five bucks. So I let him treat himself this time. It's his birthday week still, so. I then bought some cinnamon rolls, these were $4.49. These are the rolls, these are really good, the only cinnamon rolls I will buy, unless I buy the what the hell is the name of that brand name? Yeah, they were Cinnabon. Those are more expensive. Those are like $7.99. But these were only $4.49. And I honestly didn't even think of these. Think of those when I saw these. I just picked these up. Then I got mozzarella cheese. Those are that was $1.99. I got two of these little roasting pans for pastas and whatnot. I actually reuse these. I'll wash them in my dishwasher and reuse them. So these were $1.34 or 3 for 2 If I knew it was that cheap, I would have bought more. It was under a label for $4.99. The family size corn bird's eyes, $1.99. I got two packs. This I want to talk about for a minute. This Go-Gurt over here. My son used to eat it. I'm not sure if he still will. He hasn't had it in a while. But it was Spider-Man, so I figured I'm going to pick it up and try it. I'm trying to get him into healthier foods. But that small box right there of eight packs, these, these peppers that my husband absolutely is addicted to, were two ninety nine. Yeah, the Mazetta, Pepperoncini, Golden Greek. I actually remember that because when I go to the store by myself, I often forget which one. My husband wanted the White Castle cheeseburgers. Those were four ninety nine for a six pack. That's about the regular price I've seen. And then this pizza here. If you guys grew up in the United States in the late 90s, early 2000s, you guys might remember this epic school food Friday pizza, pizza sticks. I have been searching high and low for a pizza stick. I've even tried making the recipe. I can't find it. This is the closest I've come to it. It's almost exactly like the pizza sticks. If you guys, so I'm just telling you because you got to go pick this up. Honestly, it's seven twenty nine. It's stuffed crust four cheese pizza. But if you guys remember that the late nineties, early two thousands, like I said, this is everybody's favorite school item, favorite school lunch. I remember going back for her seconds and thirds on this stuff. Like it was just that good, especially in middle school. But yeah, seven twenty nine for that. The bacon was six nine nine each. Smithfield. I haven't been able to find Smithfield in my market basket, so when I did find it today, I picked up two of them. And then last but not least, my husband's favorite creamer. These were three ninety eight each. The peppermint mocha by Coffee Mate. I picked up two of these this time. Because I have a feeling they're going to be a limited edition. Just because they look like a Christmassy creamer. So I wanted to pick those up before they actually sell out. And they're good till I think maybe early summer. So these are actually good till August. So. With that being said, I should pick up more. In case they do sell out. But that is my grocery haul for you guys from Market Basket. Leave me a comment down below how much you think everything, not how much you think everything was, I don't know how much everything was, but how much you think my total was. Total being food and non-food, including, actually not including tax, you guys get it like around the right price. I'll let you guys know too. But with that, don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment down below the total. I'm sorry guys, I'm still dealing with the back code.